Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. If you are new in this channel guys, so this is my channel Tech with Pri and I post tech videos on every Monday and Thursday and you can find the list of the videos here and you can watch the video that is required for you. Okay, so it's all tech videos guys and uh, first series I have completed with Windows Server and now we have started a new series that is Cloud Computing. Okay, and also don't forget to click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, you can check my Facebook page and my Insta account and you can follow that. Now, enjoy the video. Bye bye. Now, this is the 11th video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now, in my last video, I have shown you how you can manage your free $200 credit and how you can you know control your the amount and i've given also some tips which you can follow and use that and how you can do cost analysis and create a budget for you okay so that was a very very important video guys so if you missed that video uh, don't worry i'm going to put the link on the description and also you can find the link here on your screen now to today's video we will see how we can give someone access in our subscription level and uh, that is the Azure IAM, Identity Access Management. And also we will see Azure policy, how, how we can control or restrict access uh, of different people with the help of the Azure policy. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and let's directly go to our Azure portal. So here I am in my Azure portal, that is the portal.azure.com. Again, guys, I'm using Azure free account. Okay. Now, first we will see the Azure IAM or the Identity Access Management. So if I just go to the subscription, as you already know, uh, this is a place where you would be able to see uh, details of your subscription. So again, this is my free trial subscription, guys. And you can see this is currently costing me around uh, 3,500 rupees, okay? And it is active. So with the help of the identity access management, you can give someone access in your subscription. So it's like, uh, just for an example, like if you are having the free trial account, you're using the free trial and your friend does not have a credit card. So, so you can give him or her access uh, in your subscription so they would be able to come and use things. Now, there are se several things that you need to keep in your mind and that's what we are going to discuss. So first I'll click the subscription option and you can see on the left hand side you will find the access control things. So this is not only for subscription. If I show you the virtual machine that we have created, let me open a duplicate tab. Now, if I search for virtual machine, and this is the virtual machine that we have created, test VM. So here also you'd be able to find the access control tab. So if you want only uh, people who can who can able to access virtual machine things, perform virtual machine things, or maybe uh, check some monitoring things, uh, check some reports, so you can give them access uh, in the virtual machine also option. But we'll test in this today. But again, you can try all those things. So I will just go to the access control. And for an example, now I'm going to give access to one of my friend called Jeet, um, who wants to, you know, uh, access the Azure subscription. So he does not have a credit card. So let's see how we can give access. So here, this is a page you can see under access control. So here I am going to click on grant access to this resource, grant access resource by assigning a role. So first I'm going to assign a role to Jeet. And then I will as X give him access. So I'll click on add role assignment. And here I need to choose a role what I need to give. So there are so many roles that is available, guys. You can just scroll down and you can see there are so many roles. Uh, if I want something for virtual machine, I can just search as a virtual machine and it will show what are the virtual machine roles that is available. Okay, now we have three main roles. Uh, at the beginning, you could see like the owner role, the contributor and the reader. The owner, you can understand the name of owner. If I just expand, just expand this. So that means grant full access to manage all resources, including ability to assign roles in Azure RBAC. That is the role based access control. So if I give Jeet the owner role, so he would be able to access all these things, all the subscription things. And also you'd be able to give access to some other people. Do you want that? No, I don't. The contributor role is grant full access to manage all resources. Again, all the access would be there, but he won't be able to give someone access. Okay. 
okay now so if you want someone to just give access so that he can check all the things that you are doing and not able to do any other stuff or create something or change anything so you can give the reader role so you can see view all resources but does not allow you to make any changes so so now based on your requirements you can give access to people okay so i'm going to give the contributor role to jeet so i'm gonna select contributor and click on next now here i have to choose select members under the member section and i have to give the email address of jeet now this is showing my default id so let's type the email address of jeet that's the address you can see it's fine uh, so it's able to find so the user will be sent an email that enables them to collaborate with default directory so again it is connected to the active directory azure active directory so when jeet will access it when you will give access to jeet or when i will give access to jeet uh, in our in my azure active directory i will show you where you would be able to see jeet's name so it will automatically add it so i'm going to choose jeet's name and i will choose select now i have choose the email address so description i can write anything like welcome to my azure account like that and very simply i'm going to click next and finally review and assign so it's fine i'm going to click on review and assign now you can see it's showing that jeet ganguly 47 at gmail.com was added to the default directory as a guest was also sent an invitation link and you can uh, jeet ganguly okay now if i quickly go to the azure active directory to show you uh, here is azure active directory again there would be separate section for azure active directory videos in coming days so you can see if i just go to the user section i would be able to see this is my default one pritam jit ganguly and this is the jit ganguly 47 that i have added okay now i will just quickly go to my gmail and open jit's email id uh, actually this is uh, <laughs> this is my another email account you could say just for the testing purpose i'm doing it so i will just open the gmail account and i will accept the invitation and i will log into the azure okay okay right now i'm in jit ganguly 47 at gmail.com this is my another account and i can see there is an invitation from microsoft so you can see that i've got an invitation that is from the tech with free dot outlook dot on microsoft dot com so i'm going to click on accept invitation and i will be redirect to the azure portal now it is saying that uh, microsoft i do not have a microsoft account with this so i'll just need to click next and i need to choose a password just to access this azure portal now some verification code is verification process is going on so i'll just do it quickly so I received a code in my Gmail account. I'll click on next. Here we go. I have to accept the uh, invitation permissions of the default directory. Click on accept. And you can see the same amount of uh, credit that is remaining that was there in the take with free. And you can see I have logged in as Jeet Ganguly 47 at gmail.com. And here I would be able to see all the things like the virtual machines, test VM, you can see. So you have given a contributor access. Now you can create virtual machines and you can do uh, other stuff also. Isn't it interesting? So based on your need, you can give someone to some different, uh, different roles that they can follow and they can perform their job. Okay, sounds good. Now, it's fine that we have given Jit uh, the access to the contributor role. Now, what what if Jit just go ahead and create a virtual machine? A uh, size of maybe like, you know, like size of maybe like uh, a virtual machine that is very, very, very advanced virtual machine. And, uh, you know, that can cost me uh, maybe 25,000 rupees in an hour, right? You have seen all the list of the virtual machine size, which is available. Maybe he chooses a virtual machine with 96 core and uh, maybe 300 GB RAM or something like that. And uh, that can cost all the money in a second, right? So it can happen anytime with you also. So to protect that, you need to know about the Azure policy. Now it is very, very simple again. I'll just go back to my account, uh, Tech with Pre, and I'll show you. So I'll just search for policy. It's very, very easy. So policy means nothing. You are just restricting your account or maybe people's access. So by default, it will open this page. I will just go to the definition page. 
and in the definition page you'd be able to find all the policies list of the policies that by default is there in the azure so you can choose any of them and you can apply you can apply this in your resource group or totally in the subscription level so i'm going to choose a virtual machine size so what i'm going to do so i'm going to use a policy where i can protect my account like i can only define that this virtual machine or this series virtual machine jeet would be able to create so jeet won't be able to create any other virtual machine without that series and it's not about jeet if i add in future more people in my account so they would be get they would be restricted only creating virtual machine with that particular size isn't it interesting so let's search for it so so i just searched for allow here and i found the virtual machine out virtual machine size sq so you already know sku the size we can choose from here and you can see this is the uh, policy that has written in the json format so again don't worry uh, json is the javascript object notation it's a language that we will learn in the future azure videos it's very very easy and the rule is defined here okay all right so i'm going to choose this assign policy click button and here you go now you have to select a scope here i will choose here and it will ask me for a subscription i'll choose the free trial fine subscription i can choose a resource group uh, if i want to you know select a particular resource group where jeet won't be able to create the virtual machine of any high size or big size or i can kept it to free trial and click on select so it would be applied to the whole subscription in any resource group now in the exclusion section we can so if i want to exclude anything like any resource group or anything under the subscription i can do that so i'm not going to do here anything this is the policy name so i'll click on next here you have to choose what is the size of the virtual machine you want that uh, jeet create so i will only or i want to select only the a series of virtual machine so i can just search for a series only so i have selected all the a series one all the 20 virtual machine that's under the a series and that only so jeet would be able to create that virtual machine only i'm click on next and i'm not going to do anything or any of these things i'll just go to review and create and hit on create and you can see creating policy assignment succeeded so we have successfully assigned the policy now i will quick go to the jeet's account and try to create a virtual machine with the high memory or you know other than a series and let's see what we get So right I'm back in the Jits account and I'm going to create a virtual machine quickly create new and I'll just I'll just try to create a one let's choose any of the resource group so here I will choose the virtual machine size so by default you can see it a D2S V3 so that's not what we mentioned so it should give error right so jit is trying to create any other uh, virtual machine you know size other than a so i'll just go to the review and create tab now here i will get an error like validation failed click here to view details if i go you can check resource vm01 was disallowed by policy and the policy name is virtual machine size sq so you can see that uh, jit is not able to create the virtual machine because we have applied a policy all right so this is how we can apply azure policies and we can protect it so this is it for today guys so we are able to see what is azure iam and the azure policy i hope you have enjoyed the video guys in the next video we are going to see about the azure monitor uh, make sure you hit the like button if you find it helpful and also come to the comment section if you have any doubt share with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you on the next video bye bye take care